Welcome, this is Joshua Benoist in Autodesk Product Support and video 2 we're talking about system styles um, how to add new system styles and what are system groups so let's look at the problem statement from the customer so pause the video if you, if you need to read that um, and let's move on so we we left off here talking about system groups let's look at piping system groups real quick because it makes a lot more sense in piping. So I'm switching to my piping workspace and this always gets messed up on me. Something that we are fixing hopefully. And um, so let's go to the manage tab and let's click on the drop down and click on piping system definitions. We'll Just go to chilled water and design rules. So we have a few more system groups in piping, but we didn't want to go overboard with it either. So we wanted to keep a minimum amount and ask the question, well, how should we categorize these systems so that it allows the most flexibility, you know, systems connecting into each other, but yet keeping dissimilar systems from not connecting into each other? Well, um, you've got gas and potable water and non-potable water and refrigeration. So these are the categories we have in here. So for instance, chilled water. Ultimately, you know, chilled water has a source. Yeah, you probably have a uh, filtration system, RO, DI, connected into a domestic cold water source. And so you know, chilled water is set up to be non-potable water. You know, ultimately, you, know, you can have a bunch of other different systems. You know, heating hot water, uh, um, steam. You know, they're all non-potable water type of systems. And sometimes, you know, through um, you might have a tempering valve where you need chilled water on one side and hot. Well. That's actually a domestic water issue, but anyway, um, you know there are it cases where you've got loops and you want your chilled water line tied into a piece of equipment. Same way with the hot water, domestic, um, the heating hot water, and so you want them to connect in. Uh, let's look at uh, domestic cold water. This is potable water. You drink from it. You don't want your non-potable water systems connecting into it. You might want your hot water, you know, connecting in at a tempering valve, so these systems can connect in to each other or through um, valves and MV parts and various different things. Um, of course, none of the water stuff would you ever really connect into a refrigeration line, uh, and likewise a natural gas line. So, hence the other two categories there. Um, so that's kind of system groups. That's the theory behind them. Um, those are the warnings that we kind of have for you. You know, don't go overboard on those. Um, y your users do need to be able to use the product, and um, there are situations where they need to connect one system into another, um, and uh, over restricting it is just users get really frustrated really fast, and uh, so. On the opposite side, if users are finding that they can't connect two systems up, go look at the system groups. See if it is being over-restrictive. So that might be a source um, of troubleshooting for you, you know, if users are having that problem. So now, let's go look at how to add a ton of new systems. So I'm going to minimize this. In Style Manager, you can open multiple files side by side. So I'm going to click on the open file button and the dialog pops up. Everybody has this content button here. Click on that. It takes us to the content folders. In this case we want styles. Click on the styles folder. Go to Imperial. I think the 2009 and earlier versions don't have it broken out into Imperial and metric and stuff. It's just all in there. So, um, so anyway we're here. Look for systems system definitions right there. Open that drawing and we'll have to continue in the next video.